at least anybody that's interested in the barbecue guru cyber Q gonna try and do a short video here on connection of the barbecue guru over to my computer or your computer to uh, the share my cook site that barbecue guru uh, has set up with the cyber Q cloud so that you can basically hook up your cyber Q and do the connection um, and then share your uh, cooks up to the share my cook site I know it's a little difficult setting it up initially when I was setting mine up it took me uh, quite some time um, and I've had issues between the first time I connected and then, like the second and third time I went to use the uh, cyber Q but uh, recently here it's been hooking up and, and uh, working pretty good so I'll try and run through the connection and how I connect mine and hopefully it helps somebody out all right for demonstration purposes today I'm just gonna set everything up here in the storage box everything will be in the house we won't be going back and forth to the grill in the computer everything's gonna be right here so everything's real close but uh, so there's your computer uh, your two probes, this probe would go to the grill and hook onto the grill. This one would be in your meat. Uh, you got your fan plug in and you got your uh, power plug in here. So basically they all plug into the bottom of your computer there with the different plug-in locations. So what I'll do now is I'll plug everything in and show you how uh, we go to the next step. Okay, so I plugged everything into the cyber queue, all the different four ports. So you got your pit uh, monitor, your food monitor, your fan, and your power. And then what we'll do is we'll power it up, and I'll show you the process that goes through to connect over to the share my cook site all right so what you should do then is go to the share my cook site set up your uh, email password get your login get all that done I'm not gonna do that I already got mine done um, and then once you get that part set up you basically go back to your device and follow along with the cyber Q cloud network start quick start guide it should be over here and then follow along on that do everything it says uh, we should get down into here using the Wi-Fi I use my my cell phone to get connected my it was hard to do my computer so I did my cell phone turn on your Wi-Fi it'll come up and it'll find uh, the HSMY CyberQ call out click on that and then like I say follow through type that code into your web browser that will take you to the share my cook site once you're in there go to Wi-Fi setup that will bring up a page I believe it looks like that right there and then on that cloud connection wizard click on that that will pop up um, see and then basically just follow through the rest of this uh, sheet here which you should have gotten with your uh, purchase and once your cyber queue connects through to the share my cook site um, what I found in there is you hit your save button on the site and within like maybe 30 seconds or so you'll see your cyber Q cloud will like regen regenerate all the information and then on on their device here it might I'll I'll start connecting mine up to show you what will happen but I'm not going to go through the whole process of the internet part of it. I don't want to screw up the background on my on my cyber Q but this will regen and you'll see like your temperatures on here and then that once you regen and do a save it'll basically pull up your temperatures over here on your cook site and then you'll know that everything's linked back and forth so I'll do that right now
Okay, so I've entered my password, and, or my username, password, etc. And I got into my account now. And then what you want to do when you're in here, you go to manage device. Which will bring up uh, a whole new page. And then it basically shows the current settings where, or what last thing I cooked anyway. So I cooked a New York style pizza, I had the temperature at 450. The current temp isn't right right now, it's just because it's been shut off. It was probably the last thing that was registered when I, right before I turned off my CyberQ cloud. Uh, so you'll get to that, you'll get that set up, or get linked in and get your Share My Cook site open and running. And then what you're going to do is go back over to the CyberQ and we'll plug that in here now. And I'll show you what happens there. All right, here we go. I'm going to plug the uh, CyberQ in, show you basically what happens when you connect. I basically plug it in, how it boots up and connects over to the Share My Cook. So I just plugged it in. Takes uh, a few seconds. Basically, it goes in, starts at boot up sequence. Looks for the IP address. It's looking. Let me just kind of put this up here. Oh, there's the windows. It's looking for uh, the cyber. CyberQ is looking for the Share My Cook site. And the fan kicked in. If you heard that, it basically makes sure it's got a connection. Then it's starting to link through here. And it checks the firmware. Uh, starts synchronizing. This takes a few minutes, so I'll just kind of let you watch. And the fan kicks in the background. It's it thinks it's hooked up to this, the cooker right now. This is all just a demonstration of typically the cyber cue, the fan, the power, everything would be out at the, my grill and the only thing would be in the house would be my commu uh, computer. <clears throat> so it's basically going back and forth talking to share my cook back to the cyber cube, checking all the different connections, making sure everything looks correct. Um, since this is a demo, the cook temperature is going to be like 68 degrees, the food temperature will be 68 degrees because my probes are just laying here on the countertop. But if this was a real situation, your cook temperature... Alright, so it's, it's basically logged in now. and. It, it sends uh, an error out, or beeps anyway, saying food one is done, temperature 66 degrees. We'll just hit the center button. That clears that, that uh, signal back. And now what it's saying is the cook temp is 69, and the food temp is 66. And usually those are pretty close, maybe within one degree. Uh, like I say, the uh, probes are just laying on the countertop here, so one's on the sheet of paper and one's laying on a, a metal top, so it's a little cooler. So what happens now is, like I say, this is a demo. What would really happen is the cyber key would be at the grill. It'd be hot. The temp would be hot. The cook probe would be hot. The food one would be whatever the temperature the food's at. But then I'd come in the house and I would uh, come over to my computer and I'd go up into here and I'd set this initially say 225 if I was going to start smoking something a low temp. Um, I'd come down here, hit save changes. Um, up at the top there you get a little green bar that says uh, changes were saved. It takes a few minutes to go out to the device and then shortly after that your device will start blinking and after a few minutes it'll, it should stop blinking kind of stabilize and then it tells you basically then that that data went from 
share my cook through the internet over to CyberQ and it should have updated into the unit. So if I click on the unit now, it should say 225 from my cook temperature. That's where I want my cook set. If I click out of that, and go space back to your main menu, shows the cook temp of your pit and the food temp. Now I'll say I'll go back in the house and I'm like, all right, food's all prepped, ready to roll, but I want to fire up the uh, barbecue. I want to go hotter. I want to get her way up to 400. So I set it to 400, come down to save changes. I get the uh, green bar at the top of your computer screen that says it was saved. You'll get some blinking on your cyber queue. Shows the uh, data being transferred back and forth. And within, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds, sometimes, probably depends upon your internet and your Wi Fi and all that, too. Um, let's just, there we go, I think it's done. So now we'll click on this, and now you see it jumped up to 400 degrees. So that's how easy it is to change the temperatures from the computer out to the cyber cube.